bonding the pool real quick because uh, most often and the easiest way to bond the pool and specifically the pool water is with a skimmer bonding plate. So um, in the description below, I'll put a link to Amazon or some place where you can pick this up, usually between $35 and $45. Um, they're getting cheaper, but whoever the inventor of this thing here, he's a millionaire because, uh, you know, with the, with the code the way it is now, um, the building code, every pool, every permanent pool, not like an Intex soft-sided pool, but every permanent pool requires this safety measure. Um, so, um, this is, this is going to be, uh, how to install it and why install it and a little information about bonding. So when you order this kit, this is all you get right here. This is what you get from uh, to, to, to bond the pool. So what you see here is the uh, bonding plate itself. It's got this black seal. Then it's got two flat washes, two lock washes, and two nuts. And, uh, and I'll explain why as we install this here. So first, let's take our skimmer apart. We're going to remove the lid. We're going to take the weir out. Watch this with one hand. Yeah, all I did was move this tab in so that it came out of the, the lug it was in. So, And we're going to take out the skimmer basket. Now, I already screwed up this video once, so I've already drilled my hole. But I want to talk to you about where to drill the hole. You're going to want a 3 16 drill bit, right? And you got to drill this hole precisely in the right place. And what I do is I just put this right where it's going to go. So you got it can only go certain places. And it's going to go on the inside, but this is for indexing. So, right, I know that like my thumb here has got this right lined up here. And then I got to go in the center so I can remove this. And my finger's marking where I've already drilled the hole. I don't know if you can see it, but what you're going to do, you're just going to, boom, drill through there. You're going to deburr the plastic so there's nothing to stop the, 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 um, the seal from sealing and then you just take all this stuff off the bonding plate like so all right now all you have is this rubber seal and you're going to go in here you're going to look through the hole to line it up i did it better in the first video there it is so now you're going to put on a flat washer and then you're going to put on a lock washer. And then you're going to put on a nut. And so that, that little uh, seal inside is going to stop any water from coming out. If, uh, if you already had your pool full of water before you put the bonding plate on, it's fine. You can drill the hole through. Just get the drill out of the way. Have this thing ready to go. And, and you, won't, you won't lose more than a cup of water. So I got that hand tight. I'm going to grab probably uh, the worst tool I could. It was just handy, a pair of needle nose pliers. Regular pliers would be better. And I'm just going to put a little more than a quarter turn on that. And I can feel like I'm trying to turn the bonding plate inside the skimmer. And I got it nice and snug. So it, that means that the seal's tight. The, the rub is probably expand, uh, crushing a little which is going to keep any water from leaking. If you have any, any water, snug that up a little bit more. But now, you put your bonding lug. So this thing here is what we're going to hook the copper wire to that I'm going to explain in a second. We're going to put that on. Another flat washer. Another lock washer. And a nut. So here we go. And we're going to snug that up. And you can see the waviness of that lock washer. And you just want to like hold this and support it while you tighten it. And you're just going to crush that lock washer a little bit. Um, again, wrong tool, but boom, that's on there now. So let's talk about bonding, right? Bonding is confused with grounding. We're not grounding anything. In fact, we're doing the opposite. We're trying not to ever reach a ground. So what we do with our copper wire, um, the whole goal is to um, make it so that we can't reach another potential. So if a, if a bird lands on a high voltage wire, it doesn't fry. 
it doesn't get uh, electrocuted because it can't reach another potential. If there was a wire next to it that had a different potential and it touched it, current would then transfer through the bird and it would die. But it, because it can't reach another potential, it's safe. And that's what we're going to do with the pool. So we're going to take this copper wire. We're going to run around the whole pool one foot from the wall. We're going to dig a trench six inches down. And we're going to go around the whole pool. And we're going to touch the pool in four places as we go around the pool. Um, if you have a, a deck, you might want to come up and touch the deck in a few places with the copper wire also. So for round pools, the math is really simple. So like a 21 round would be 21 times 3.14 pi. And that will give you roughly what you need. Actually, I would do 26 feet because it's going to be a foot on either side away from the pool. So 26 feet times pi, and then add another 15, 20 feet. So you go around the whole pool, right? It's one foot from the pool wall, six inches down into the ground. And you go around and touch the pool wall in four places. Now, um, then you come around with that same wire, right? Don't cut the wire. And you attach it here. What this is going to do, it's going to bond the water. Now, the water has the same potential as the ground and the wall all the way around the pool. Then you come back down and you run over to your pump, which also has a bonding lug. All pumps come with them. Um, the electrical pump the circulation system. And you attach the wire there. You're done. You don't need to drive a stake in the ground. You don't need to um, do anything else. That this is this is this is not grounding. This is this is bonding, and all it's doing is creating the same field, the same potential everywhere, so that you can't fry. A lot of electricians don't understand bonding. I've talked to a lot of them. Um, so one other thing. So now we'll put our skimmer back in. We'll put our Weir, or flap as most people call it, by lining up the lug and clicking that in. That's good. Put our cover back on. Um, if you're going to hire, I mean, you could save yourself quite a bit of money doing this yourself. Um, because then all you have to do is pay for the materials. You don't need to be an electrician to do this. Uh, you need an electrician to run your service to the pump, your electrical service. But you don't really need one, or maybe you don't. Um, but... Um, so you could save yourself quite a bit of money. My tip is this, um, if you hire an electrician, get one that does pool work all the time, because if you hire, uh, you know, any electrician can do this, but now they got to go read the code. They got to understand the code. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to take a lot more time than somebody who does this all the time. So time is money. So that electrician who doesn't do this all the time has to figure it out, doesn't have the stuff in the van, has to order it. Maybe they got to take a trip to the pot store. They're factoring all that stuff into your bill.